Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. I'm back in Singapore and it's my birthday. <laughs> Wearing one of these shirts that my friend gave me for my birthday, really fabulous shirt. That's him from Powerpuff Girls being really sexy. And today I thought I'd do a haul that I got on vacation, okay, in Paris and London. And I'm going to try to use as much of the things that I bought <laughs> on my face today. All right, so if that's something you see, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to hear the rest of my vacation, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, I'm back, brows are gone, and I'll be using some cosmetics that I bought in Paris and London, stuff that I can't get here and stuff that, you know, don't ship to Singapore. And of course, some stuff that <laughs> I just bought along the way. And I did a lot of thrifting there too, okay? I went to thr thr thrift shops, vintage shops to look for drag. And it's so much easier to do it there because, you know, I'm not exactly the smallest <laughs> waif of a person. And over there, I can get the sizes I like. I'm going to cut out here and there, okay, when I unpacked this, laid out all my shopping and took a video of that. And we're going to talk about all that too. All right, so it was a really successful holiday. Had two days of amazing drag. And, and this is basically the rest of my vacation. All right, just touched down from Paris and London and I just unpacked all my drag. I thought I'd do a little haul about, you know, my London and Paris uh, shopping, okay, all my drag stuff that I got there, a lot of cosmetics and thrifting. And um, yeah, so I laid it all out here. And if you want to see what I got, just stay tuned. Most of the stuff that I bought are stuff that I couldn't get in Singapore. So for example, NYX left Singapore, I think about two, three years ago, and these are available in boots in, the, in London really cheap. So I bought some NYX stuff, especially some of their primers, which I want to try. The foundation I'll be using today, I'll be using the Makeup Forever HD Face Essentials Palette. This is the one that Trixie has been using on her channel with all the foundations and blush and the cream, cream formula here. Always wanted to try this ever since I saw Trixie use it. And they don't really, they don't really ship this to Singapore. I probably can't use everything today, but I'm going to try to use as much as I can. I didn't buy any colour cosmetics because I told myself no more eyeshadow palettes until, I guess until next year, I think I have, to, I have too much. So I will be using the Trixie Cosmetics palette that I had that just arrived in the mail. Alright, so let's just get started. The first one I'm going to use is this NYX Bright Maker Primer. Peel that off. All right, yeah, so it was quite a fun holiday. The weather was amazing all throughout, okay? Even the first couple of days we were there, every day was so sunny. I mean, of course, bright overhead sun isn't the best for drag because, you know, um, the shadows and everything really accentuate these angular features. We were, we were trying to actually find a lot of, you know, shaded areas out of the sun to take pictures, but I think the pictures turned out pretty good. Okay, you can check them out on my Instagram if you haven't already. So basically, after the two days, I packed everything up and of course, I didn't really vlog properly there. I didn't want to disrupt uh, my friend's vacation by vlogging all the time. So um, this is what you get. I mean, some pictures here and there, but no actual vlogging there. Okay, so I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get this brand new <laughs> t-shirt that my friends got me for my birthday dirty. So I'm just going to be taking it off. Yeah, so after the two days of drag, I went to the Sephora and the Champs Elysees to look for my look for this stuff. Okay, and of course Sephora is a French brand, so um, the shop, the Sephora's there are pretty amazing, quite large. The one in the Champs Elysees isn't as big as the one in Times Square, but you know it has tons of stuff. So that's where I got this makeup forever. Yeah, here's a picture of me at um, the Sephora, causing quite a commotion taking a picture there <laughs> in my big ponytail wig. And here's the stuff that I bought. When we touched on in Paris, I did drag the first two days, so I didn't do very much shopping. Um, I did take some pictures at Sephora, I didn't post that, but I did go back to Sephora to buy some stuff. Okay, you know Sephora is a French brand and they have some stuff that I've been looking for everywhere and they don't send it to Singapore. Or the shipping's really expensive and that's Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever, I really, really like the foundations and I've seen Trixie use this compact with the with the foundations, the cream foundations in all different colors for the contours and the blush as well. And I managed to find it there. All right, so I'm just gonna flip you around. And that's my first haul. Okay, so I basically bought some Makeup Forever. This is the, this is that pan. I'll probably use it in the in the makeup part of this video. Um, decided to try some Fenty. And they managed to talk me into buying this Dior um, on stage liner. Apparently a really good white eyeliner. So we're going to be using that too, I think. Okay, so now going in the foundation. Um, here, here's the the Y numbers for these foundations, okay? I usually use about Y225 or Y235. Um, the closest thing here is Y205, which is probably a bit light for me there, okay? But I did also buy in another Sephora <laughs> later on, um, some other Makeup Forever, the new HD Skin, the liquid foundations, which I saw people using on TikTok. This comes in really nice glass bottles. Okay, I bought these in Y225. 
a little bit darker, and Y235. Okay, I'm experimenting a little bit <laughs> of using a little bit darker skin tones now because, you know, I don't want my face to keep looking so white all the time um, in drag and give myself a bit more dimension. Okay, and I guess to be hygienic, I'm going to be scraping out some of these to use. So I will be using the Y205 and Y315. I'm just scrape out a little bit onto another palette and mix them. Okay, so that's all I'm using for now. They're really creamy. You know, Makeup Forever has really good full, full coverage stuff. All right, and then using my Beauty Blender. Mixing in some of this 245. Go over the brow. Hmm, this is a pretty good color match for me, don't you think? Um, then we went for dinner in the Marais. I was so tired and jet lagged that I kind of like, you know, caved and bought some <laughs> gold chains. I don't know why. I think I was quite inspired. I was watching Drag Race Espania and I saw Jurigi come out in that Amadova look um, that uh, Willow Pill also did. So I bought a whole bunch of gold chains trying to recreate it. So I don't know if I'm gonna, that's gonna happen, but basically here are the chains. Okay, bought one kilo of gold chains and some connectors and we'll see what happens with that. Oh, and then I found these toothbrushes, Almex toothbrushes. Um, in a pharmacy. I really like these toothbrushes because these heads fit in my mouth very well. <laughs> That's what she said. But, um, so I bought these to stock up. Okay, and um, in Paris, I wanted to do some thrifting. It was quite good because um, I got some recommendations from a couple of friends who shop in Paris all the time, okay, and they recommended I go to this place um, in Palais Royale. It's actually a pretty good color match <laughs> right there. My friends tell me that thrifting in Paris is really, really good, okay? And of course, uh, a lot of the stuff that you see on, you know, um, Sex in the City and Emily in Paris are kind of like thrifted, vintage stuff. So I decided to go. I did stop by one of these places. Um, I can't remember the name, but, um, and, but the people there were really snooty, so I didn't really buy anything there. Anyway, there the things were like over thousands of euros, and that's not something I was prepared to spend for drag at this stage in my drag, okay? So, but I did find a whole bunch of other stuff in places like Kilo Watch and, uh, and other places. Okay, next I've got this um, NARS concealer, which I see some influencers use a lot and they love it very much. So I got the lightest color there. Like two vanilla. The one that was recommended to me was 25 Janvier, which, um, which was close when I got there. But I found this other one called Didier, Didier Lumo. Didier Ludo, okay, Didier Ludo. And it was actually, Pretty expensive stuff, okay. I was maybe hoping to find a Mugler or something that I could, that I could, you know, spice up my wardrobe with. But it was not to be. I mean, the ones there were also a bit too small and really expensive. Even the Mugler vintage secondhand stuff was like, you know, over a thousand euros and I wasn't about to spend that much money on my drag yet. <laughs> okay, we can also use this Makeup Forever palette to do my brows and contour. But I did find some of the cheaper stuff. So I took a taxi and I drove around and, and found some vintage stores, okay, just randomly. And also this other place that was recommended to me was this place called Killy Watch. Okay, and Killy Watch is a uh, more affordable, kind of like a secondhand store. And look at the stuff I found. So for example, I found a whole bunch of clothes. This is quite cute. And this was a little bit more expensive, but I think, I think this will look like a, this will make Quite a cute outfit, I don't know, in some of course leopard print, some of the dresses, you, you probably see them in future looks. And my prize find was this fabulous leather jacket. Okay, with cow print, cow hide and everything. And it fit me like a glove, so can't wait to do that. That's gonna be a hint of my year-end show. <laughs> this is actually Y535. Those were quite a lot of things that I'm quite excited about, okay? I'm sure you see them in a look soon. Okay, and now we go in and just blend all that out. Okay, I do think I need a little bit of white. Actually, let's try some of this cream blush today as well. This one's 304. One other thing I did was I ordered some stuff off ASOS. <laughs> okay, and ASOS is uh, this brand which I tried ordering some stuff from them here before, but um, for some reason, I think the delivery to Singapore was not the best, so I didn't follow through. So I decided to just order some stuff there and I got some stuff that I really wanted for a very long time. 
which you see here. And it was quite difficult because, um, you know, you didn't have the code and I was so, so worried. I kept refreshing the tracking and, you know, UPS is the worst tracking. It was terrible. I couldn't leave them messages or anything. But it was so lucky that we left one day and I saw the UPS guy just walking by. So I just ran up to him, ran up to his van, rummaged through it and found my package. Okay, and um, I guess you will see some of these looks at some point. Okay, what I really wanted was this gold dress made of pirates. Okay, it fits really perfectly. I think with padding, it will look pretty amazing. I could use this for one of my other shows and some other stuff which you'll probably see in the future. Okay, that was pretty much the first leg in Paris. Okay, I am going to get these brows on and powder myself and I'll be back to talk about London. All right, okay, powdered everything. Now I put my NARS concealer again as an eyeshadow base. I'm going to blend that out with a small little brush. Okay, and in London. Uh, I actually lived in London for three years before. Okay, I was in the UK for six years and London for three. And so I know the place pretty well. Um, this time, the weather was great also. Okay, we stayed in Shoreditch and apparently an upcoming area. But still a little bit, you know, rough around the edges, but quite fun. Okay, and there... Of course, the first stop I did was boots. <laughs> Here's some stuff I bought. Well, once we checked in the hotel, I went to look for boots and found some of my favorite products. Okay, in Singapore, you gotta buy, the, the, the best place to buy this is off Lazada. It's usually about 15 to 20 bucks. That's three pounds. So of course I stocked up. They even had minis, which you can probably take to shows and stuff. So this is like pretty cool. And of course, um, NYX. It's less Singapore, so I bought a whole bunch of NYX. Decided to try some NYX foundations. Of course, the jumbo pencils. I've got the white ones, but I wanted to try the black and the brown ones with smoky eyes to see how that helps. Some liners, primers, and some other stuff I'm sure you'll see. Yeah, so including all the NYX stuff, which I'm using today as well. So now I'm going to be using my Trixie Cosmetics, which came while I was away, so this kind of counts. <laughs> and the Trixie and Katia palettes, which I got. They finally made some neutrals, which I will try. The Cartier palette has a few nice neutrals here and a black, which I think I will try to use. Trixie Cosmetics blacks haven't been the best <laughs> so far for drag, but let's see how these work. In addition to boots, I also did some shopping in Selfridges. Okay? Selfridges is an amazing store, okay, and they've got a great makeup counter and they have a Morphe, Morphe section there. I promised myself I'll ne I will not buy another Morphe palette ever again, but I did pick up some of their continuous setting mists, okay? Every time I go online and try to add this to my cart, the whole thing won't come because it's a uh, aerosol. So it's probably one of the best things that they make, okay? The continuous setting mist, so I'll be using this. Actually, I can use it now. Set this now for a skin-like finish, as they say, <laughs> before I go into my eyeshadow. Yeah, and this wets the skin a little bit, so it helps the, the eyeshadows to pop on a little bit better. And then we, we went for a walk and I think we went to Spittlefield, Spittlefields Market and I managed to bargain and bought this lovely feathered collar which I think will make some look at some point. Okay, and of course we went to Selfridges to buy some stuff and of course I had to stock up on Morphe setting sprays. I think this Morphe Continuous setting sprays is probably one of the better setting sprays for Morphe. They even have this one which is printing pretty good. It's a luminous setting mist and a beauty blender. So that's all I got from Morphe. Let's try this packing method first with the black, okay? So, I usually start my inner corner, today I'm going to start my outer corner. Okay, I'm going to use this black to map out the crease. Okay, and today let's round it out a little bit. So this, this, this method, I'm just basically drawing out my crease and doing a really rounded one out here, going over that bone and bringing it in. This Trixie Cosmetics Black is still a little bit grey. Okay, so that's going to be my crease today. Okay, yeah, so what else did I do in London? Uh, one day we went to visit the friend whose apartment we were staying in in Paris. Also, we headed over to Canterbury to meet her for lunch. And of course, in Canterbury, we went to see the cathedrals. I think the last time I was there was when I was in school when we went on a field trip. Okay, and it's amazing, okay, these cathedrals. <laughs> it really goes to show how much effort religion put into awing the masses, okay, to, you know, 
keep them controlled because, you know, the minute you walk into one of these cathedrals and churches, you just feel so insignificant, okay? And that's a really smart way <laughs> to make people <laughs> bow down to you and, you know, listen to everything you have to say. It was gorgeous. And of course, the gift shop, I bought some stuff, which I think will make pretty good <laughs> for drag. Check it out. We went over to Canterbury to meet some friends for lunch and we went to see the cathedral there and it was beautiful and the gift shop had really cute stuff which I think will be incorporated into future outfits. So an you know, angel probably can make a headpiece out of that. All these nice crosses, all bejeweled and everything. You make fabulous earrings or headpieces or whatever. So I got a whole bunch of stuff from there and they weren't very expensive, you know, like you know, 12 pounds. Okay, now I'm going in with a flip-flop, which is this brown trying the neutral colors today and I'm just going to blend out the black on the outside here and wing it out. The next day we were meeting some friends for lunch but before that we walked through Brick Lane okay which is near Shoreditch okay and on, on Sundays there were there was a huge flea market there which was really fun Okay, found lots of good stuff. It was quite scary at first because on the fringes of the free flea market, there were these people just dumping junk out onto the streets. Like It was almost like they were selling stuff from the kitchen cabinet or something. And I saw this person selling this big pile of hair, which was pretty gross, okay? It was like, um, I think it was weaves or something, but it looked all, all looked used. So blended that out. Now I'm going in and bl to blend that, that out again with the stick it from the Trixie palette. So all, all that was from the Katia palette. So now I'm going to go into the Trixie palette to blend this out even more. I did find some great stuff on Brick Lane, okay? Some costume jewelry sold by local people and some thrifted stuff. Some secondhand, this secondhand dress. Check it out. I managed to find this thrifted feathered dress which is stretch, so it will, will fit, fit me. I think this will, be, this will look pretty good for a, kind of a flapper look. Found <laughs> these random stuff for cheap too. More costume jewelry, scrunchies, which I think will make its way into some sort of a, a future look. Okay? And a whole bunch of other stuff, which I probably won't go into every single thing. So, you know, big chunky jewelry for drag. So stuff like that. Okay, I'm just going into the darker color again, just to deepen this up. And after lunch, we went to the VNA, okay, uh, which is this museum which has a lot of fashion exhibits, and to see this amazing exhibition called Fashioning Masculinity about the history of menswear. And I think it was really quite fun. It was a really good exhibition, okay, they showed things from um, underwear, the history of underwear, and shapewear, and how, um, you know, dandies came about, and how the um, dress of men evolved over the times, okay? I, I would actually like to do a complete separate video about this, okay? Because I just watched White Hot also, which is a, a documentary on Netflix about Abercrombie and Fitch, and I think that all this makes a really good discussion about masculinity. So I think I'll save that for another video, okay? Stay tuned. And bring this in a little bit more first. My crease is pretty much cut already. And I think I want an interesting color on the lid, which I think maybe I'm going to try this and pose this kind of a teal color, which I don't usually use on my lid. Let's give that a go. Never use this color on my lid. Pretty cool. Yeah, and also the VNA, the gift shop there, <laughs> is a great place to buy drag stuff because they have all this costume jewelry, which basically are replicas of, you know, famous art pieces and stuff like that, and quite fun to use for drag. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff there too. The VNA gift shop also sells a lot of costume jewelry. Not very expensive at all. I mean, these amazing things, how much were they? Like eight pound. <laughs> like all this bejeweled thing, how much is this? 12 pound. So it's like really cheap costume stuff. I'm going to use flipping out, which is a bit darker, to blend this in the sides. Okay, it's different for Wonder Snatch. Okay, and in London, I did see two shows. I saw um, Six, which is the kind of a historical thing about the Six Wives of Henry VIII. Okay, done a bit like Hamilton, but with pop music instead. It was quite fun and really nice costumes. Uh, my friends got me a ticket to Cabaret as well. Eddie Redmayne was in this production of Cabaret, but um, this was the next cast. So I had Fra Free, who is, whose voice is pretty good. A bit too good for the MC, but it was a okay production, I guess. Um, they kind of like opened up the backstage, so it was like audiences on both sides of the stage looking in. Nothing too groundbreaking over 
the Alan Cumming version in 992. All right. Okay, so um, I'm going to fill in my brows quickly and do some contouring. Um, and I'll be right back to talk about my last leg of the trip back to Paris in the Eurostar. All right. So I've contoured a little bit. I'm, I didn't get any contour there, so I'm using my old Kaleidos Warm and Medium and a little bit of my Studio Pro as well. Okay, I'm going to go in the under eye now. The lady at Sephora somehow managed to convince me to buy this Dior stage liner. She says this is the best white eyeliner on the market. Okay, it was not cheap. <laughs> so I'm going to try to use this to do my under eye. I think this is what Gigi Good uses as well. Okay, that is pretty nice. Okay, and I'm going to do a Gigi Good kind of a white line there too. Okay, going on the under eye now with the same colors as before. And now we're back to Paris. And so we went, went back to Paris and we were all determined to do a lot more shopping. Okay, my friends went to buy, you know, high-end stuff, but I'm not really into that. And the Dior stuff comes with these little stars, <laughs> um, which, where are they? So they have these little stars, which I think will make Pretty good um, head pieces one day. <laughs> okay, so again with the black. I want to do more thrifting, so um, I kept my eyes peeled. Okay, and on the way to Gare du Nord to go to London, I actually saw this road filled with sequins and fabric, and of course my drag queen senses perked up, <laughs> and I wrote down the name of the road. It was called Rue Dorcel. Okay, and they had a whole bunch of fabric stores and some costume stuff as well. So I wanted to go back there to have a good look at some stuff and I took a taxi there. But on the way, <laughs> I actually found this other road on this road called Chateau, Chateau d'Eau, okay, which is the house of water or something like that. The biggest signifier there was a whole bunch of black beauty stores. Okay, I used to live in Harlem, so I know that when you see black beauty stores, that means wigs, weaves, huge eyelashes and <laughs> possibility for lots of drag. So I immediately stopped the taxi, got off and bought some stuff. So I found a wig shop and extensions. Amazing find. Okay, gonna do some shopping now. I have enough wigs, so I didn't buy any wigs, but I did buy some extra bundles, which I can sew into my existing wigs. Okay, some nice blonde ones and black ones. And also, I found this great store, which makes like prom dresses and evening dresses for big black women. And these are things that fit me perfectly. So I bought a few dresses there. I will not show you them now because I'll save them for a special occasion. So stay tuned, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. And of course, uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you ever want to see them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And I can't wait to wear them. The biggest find was this um, tailor, which I think makes stuff for big black women. And these dresses just fit me perfectly. Okay. I'm not going to show you very much now because I want, to, want them to be a surprise, but these dresses are <laughs> amazing. Okay. I really, they, they fit me so well. Uh, the, the length is perfect. The boobs are perfect. I think they're going to be really good for formal, formal occasions or, you know, one of my future shows. So those are really good finds. All right, so I'll show, uh, I'll tell you when I wear them next, but you know, stay tuned for when I wear them. They're going to be amazing. Okay, and then I did manage to go to Rue Dorcel in the end to buy some of the more glitzy, glitzy stuff. And so I bought some showgirl outfits. So this tassel, tassel thing, I think you'll probably buy this off AliExpress actually, but you know, since I was there, I just picked it, picked it up in several different colors. Um, some costume jewelry and feather bows. <laughs> these feather bows are nice and thick okay so they're pretty good quality and you know i'll use them for some look at some point okay so i'm just going to go in with all the colors all the way around okay just to blend this out i did find this other vintage store in the marais um, where I found a top hat for five euros and some tails which I think I will get altered for one of my upcoming shows. Yes, I do have two shows planned for the second half of the year. I will be vlogging them, so don't be surprised if I cut in and out of this channel because, you know, I need to concentrate on putting up those shows. This was also in the Marais where I found a top hat for five euros and coat tails <laughs> and tails. Okay, so this is gonna th th this is gonna look like this is gonna make a pretty nice um, kind of an MC kind of look. I need to get that altered though, so I'm gonna get my friend Cheryl to do that. Okay, coming together. Yeah, and I did in the end make it to Rue Dorcel 
where I found, you know, a lot of fabric stores. I bought some feather boas, which uh, are pretty good quality. I bought up all the pink ones so I can make a big feather boa from them. And some other, you know, costume stuff and costume jewelry, which you will definitely see very soon. <laughs> so yeah, so that was my trip. I mean, we had lots of good food, ate quite a lot, and actually didn't manage to go to the gym very much there. So, you know, I have to get back in shape. <laughs> Liner. I did buy some liners there. Of course, the KVD. Always love this liner. I think KVD, the ink liner, okay? Waterproof liquid ink liner. Let's try this. All right, so I'm just going to do this the other side quickly. And I think I'll be right back to talk about stuff I watch in the plane. <laughs> All right, finished the liner there. I'm going to go to my lips now. Okay, I did stock up on Makeup Forever pencils when I was there. I bought a black one, which I've already worn the last one down to a nub. And also this cream coloured one, which I will find a use for. Okay, I think this is a pretty cool colour. I mean, it's good to like trace out eye shapes if you're going to do any interesting stuff in the future. So I didn't really get any lips there, but I did receive my Red Scare. <laughs> my Cartier Red Scare, the red lipstick, which I'll use also. So I'm just going to first line my lips in black. These Makeup Forever pencils are the best. So movies I watch on plane. When I used to live in, a, live in the UK, and I was a lot younger then, I used to use the plane to just cram up on movies. I watch as many as I can, especially stuff that I didn't see before. On the way up, there weren't very many movies, but they switched it around on the way back, and I actually watched four movies. <laughs> I usually managed to cram in about six or seven, but this time I actually slept, okay, because I'm old. Um, I saw Belfast, which I thought was good. Jamie Dornan is so cute. <laughs> and that little boy is so adorable. He's quite a good actor. But you know, all these shows about the, you know, the IRA and all this religion, again, <laughs> causing problems. I don't usually like to watch these kind of movies. Okay, and um, I watched also The Lost City with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. I actually thought this was quite a fun movie. Quite a nice spin on the Indiana Jones trope. And a bit of a buddy comedy as well. I thought there was a huge amount of ADR here. You know, there were so much lines that I think were added post-production because they were always added, tagged on to the end of the scene, okay, where you don't see the mouse moving and anything. So I thought that was really obvious. Um, I also saw Venom, uh, Let There Be Carnage, which I didn't catch in the theaters, which I thought was actually pretty bad. <laughs> it was, you know, there was so much potential, but there's so much lost potential. I mean, you have Carnage, but it can't even show blood. I mean, they didn't show any blood at all. They should have just made it an R-rated movie and made it really, really horrifying. There's a lost opportunity, and you know the product placement for the stupid Sony TV in the middle, where, you know, um, Eddie Brock buys a TV and there's a huge Sony Bravia box there, and his colleague comes in and says, nice TV. That was so disgusting. I thought it was really gross. But not as gross as Moonfall. <laughs> the movie about the moon being an me alien megastructure falling to the earth. Tried to take itself too seriously at times, and it was such a ridiculous premise, which I think they could have leaned into. But now, you know, after... after you find out how much Hollywood movies are basically pandering to Chinese audience, and this was actually produced by the Chinese as well. It was just so obvious, okay, when you had like this random Chinese character from an exchange student come in for no reason at all. And I probably think she's quite a, quite a famous Chinese actress. Okay, yeah, so those are the movies I watched on plane. I think I'm pretty much done, so I'm just going to clean all this up get some of my drag on and I'll be right back with a wrap up. All right, and this is the finished look. Okay, in the end, I turned out to be a little bit of a mom drag, <laughs> a bit of a milf thing. I'm wearing my um, bodysuit underneath. So I've got quite big jugs here. <laughs> and it's very conservative, a little bit of a turtle neck here. I look like I'm gonna about to read the news on Fox or something. <laughs> All right, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, and ring that bell for post notifications if you haven't already. All right, um, uh, next week I might take a break, but I've got some makeovers planned and also some vlogs of my upcoming shows. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, and of course, if you want to see the rundown of the fashioning masculinity exhibition I saw at VNA, of course, leave a comment down below and I'll start working on that video. All right, okay, so I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.
So if you haven't already, check out the vlog of my Paris trip and also uh, my Easter bunny look where I review the cast of All Star 7.